friends. Today we're going to learn more about shapes with too many toys. Now this book is super fun because it has lots of different shapes in it. Spencer had too many toys. They covered the floor of his bedroom and piled up in his closet. They were stashed under his bed. They spilled down the stairs into the living room. Oh, wow. That's too many toys, it seems like. He had toys in his backyard. He had little toys in his bathtub. What's this shape right here? That's square, very good. Even this right here. And can we find other ones? Maybe this right here, a rectangle, a circle for our bike wheel. Very cool, right? Sometimes Spencer played with a nice, quiet wooden pull toys. Other times he played with noisy, crazy electronic toys. He had puzzles, board games, and talking books that fueled his mind and loud, jumpy, frenzied video games that fried it. Which ones do you like? Do you like the calm ones or the video games? Spencer liked to make his make his toys into a parade that stretched from one corner of the house to the other and back again. There was an entire zoo of stuffed animals and a gigantic army of little action figures. There's lots of toys you can see in this page. He had a fleet of, of planes, trains, and toy boats, and a convoy of miniature trucks and cars. He also had lots and lots of musical instruments, art supplies, and alien spaceman weapons. Oh, we got paint on the drum. Oh no, that drum's gonna be broken. Everyone gave spen toys to Spencer. Of course his mom and dad did, but also did Grandma Bobo and Poppy and Grand Diddy and Aunt Mim and Uncle Fred and Cousin Drew. They gave him toys for every holiday, even the 4th of July. Do you guys get toys on the 4th of July? I don't remember ever getting toys then. And his birthday, obviously, right? He also got toys from all of his friends on his birthday and on their birthdays too, when he went to their parties. That's not fair. He got toys at the drive-thru when he got his kid burger. You can get that, that makes sense. And at school for having lots of peace person points. Makes sense. And at the dentist and the doctor when he didn't squirm. He had a lot of toys. We had Legos, we got Play-Doh. We got even those little tracks. Oh, they're so fun. I love them. They were becoming a household hazard. Have you ever stepped on a Lego piece on your bare feet or a jack? Well, it really hurts, especially if you weigh as much as Spencer's dad. Also, you can also trip on things like railroad tracks and race cars if you're doing a load of laundry. One day, Spencer's mom had it up to here. With all of the toys, Spencer, she yelled on her way upstairs, you have too many toys. That's impossible, thought Spencer. Then she said, we're going to get rid of some. Oh, that's a catastrophe. Pick out which toys you don't want, she ordered, and put them in this box. But I love all of them, Spencer cried. Have you ever done that before, where you just wanted all your toys? All right, his mom, his mother said, I'll help you. She picked up her an alien space, space ninja. What about this one? You haven't played with this one in years. But I was just about to. Spencer, his mom said, it doesn't have a head. I'm making him a new one, Spencer replied. Fine, said Spencer's mother, but this can definitely go. And she put the down the alien and picked up a filthy one-eared bunny. No, oh, not Mr. Fluffers. Mom, how could you? This, this one, she said. That's Mr. Fluffer's best friend. This one? Mother, have you forgotten? Grandma Bobo gave that to me on our, my fourth birthday, and I'll never have a fourth birthday again, ever. Oh, please, Spencer, his mom said, rolling her eyes. Don't be so dramatic. Have your, has your mom ever said that to you? Okay, she said. You can keep this one, but I'm giving away the pig and Johnny Choo Choo. Tell you what, countered Spencer. I'll let you have the pig, but I get Johnny Choo Choo. What are you doing? What are you, a lawyer now? S asked his mom. You can keep Johnny Choo Choo, but the cow goes in the box too, do you? 
how about two kitchen magoos instead? It's just a silly made up word, said Spencer, and I'll throw you in a little pepper of your choice. How about own some golden box or you don't watch TV for a week? Spencer decided it was in his best interest to agree. Deal. Finally, some toys in the box, sighed Spencer's mom. I had no idea it would be this much work. She plopped down on the floor and next to an egg-shaped pirate with that bellowed arr of ass, gee, scurvy dogs, of that Here's another one you can do without, she said. No problem, said Spencer. His mom nearly fell on the floor. What? You're going to give it up just like that? Sure, Spencer replied. That's Dad's. So Spencer and his mom went through every toy box and looked in every closet and under every bed until they had haggled and wrestled and argued all over all toys in the entire house until finally they were finished and his mom had a cup of tea and a short rest. Then she went upstairs and to began to load the toys into the car, and, but instead of a nice neat box, of toys all ready to go, she saw a big, messy pile of toys all over the floor. Spencer, what have you done? We had a deal. You were right, Mom, Spencer called in his bedroom. I do have too many toys, but we can't give away this box. Why do you think so? Because the box is the best toy ever. So he turned a box into a spaceship. How fun is that? And the box is just a square too. So we saw lots of different types of shapes in there, and toys can be lots of different kinds, too. So I hope I get to see you all soon, and I hope you have a good day. Bye, friends.